The Hankin Family, Journeys to America. Abram Hankin was the oldest of Chaim and Sora Hankin's eight children. Like his parents, Abram grew up in the town of Zhlobin in the Russian region of Belarus. Zhlobin was a small town of 2,000 people, mostly Jews. The center of life there was the synagogue. But like elsewhere, there were military parades. And at the same time, men carried water from the Dnieper River up to their homes. Abram was an ambitious man, and he traveled Belarus making custom-tailored suits. Like many Russians, especially Russian Jews, Abram and his wife Basha, who we know as Bessie, wanted to leave Russia for America. Over Bessie's father's strong objections, they made their plans. Abram's younger brother Samuel was to accompany them. Abe was 24, Bessie was 20, and Sam was 17. In the fall of 1912, Abe, Bessie, and Sam boarded a train for the 1,000-mile trip from Zhlobin to Bremen, Germany. The train probably went through Minsk, the capital of Belarus, and then through Poland, and finally across Germany to the northern port city of Bremen. Once in Bremen, they boarded the ship SS Maine for the journey to America. The 4,200 mile trip across the Atlantic took about two weeks. The Maine carried 2,500 steerage class passengers at a cost of about $30 per person. Abe and Sam had initially discussed settling in Texas, but landed in Baltimore and decided to stay there. They landed on October 24, 1912. Their arrival on the Maine was recorded on the ship's manifest. One year after Abram, Bessie, and Sam left Zhlobin, brother Saul made the long trip from Zhlobin to Bremen. From there, he sailed on the SS Chemnitz and landed in Philadelphia on his way to Baltimore. He arrived on October 1st, 1913, at the age of 19. Before any other Zhlobin Hankins were able to travel to the U.S., World War I broke out in 1914. Civilian travel within Europe was halted. The route to America was effectively closed with only three of the Hankin brothers having emigrated. In 1917, with World War I still raging, 17-year-old Morris Hankin, the fourth of the five Hankin sons, received a draft notice from the Tsar's army. Morris's older sister, Leah, was very concerned that Morris might not survive his tour of duty. So, she arranged for Morris to travel secretly to America. The trip was financed partly by sister Leah, who had a thriving dressmaking business in Zhlobin, and partly by brothers Abram and Sam, who sent money to the Russian Hankins. The trip east across Russia was over 8,000 miles and probably took several weeks by train. He crossed through Manchuria to get to Yokohama, Japan. From Japan, he sailed another 7,500 miles to San Francisco aboard the SS Vondel. 
Morris arrived in San Francisco on June 15, 1917, and then traveled by train another 2,500 miles to Baltimore. He had traveled alone for over 18,000 miles at the age of 17. ended in 1918, but Russia was embroiled in the revolution. Care packages from Baltimore were sent to the Hankins still trapped in Jlubin. Food and clothing were sent along with money stashed in the soles of shoes and the linings of coats. Finally, in 1923, travel was possible again. Chaim and Sura, then 56 and 55, and their youngest children, Nathan and Bertha, 20 and 18, traveled to Bremen where they boarded the SS Derflinger on, en route to Portland, Maine. They landed on October 3rd, 1923 and traveled to Baltimore for a joyous reunion. Leah was the oldest Hankin sister and had married Aaron Gorelick by the time World War I began. Aaron, who served two tours in the Russian army, was captured by the Germans and held prisoner for years. Leia was not able to get travel documents until 1922. As Leia and Aaron and her younger sister Ruffel and her fiancé Albert Schifrin prepared to leave Zlubin, Leia gave birth, but the baby Hillel did not survive. They delayed their trip long enough to bury Hillel but by the time they got to Bremen, the quota for travel to America had been filled and they were not allowed to board their ship. They had to stay in Bremen for three long years, living in prison-like conditions before they were able to get new visas to the United States. Just before the long-delayed trip, Leia's new baby, Debbie, who was born in Bremen, came down with diphtheria. Knowing the baby would not be allowed into the U.S., Leah and Aaron decided to complete the trip with their other daughters, Betty 10 and Rose 5, and they left baby Debbie with sister Ruffel and Albert. Leah cried the entire trip she was so worried about Debbie. Fortunately, Ruffel, Albert, and Debbie were able to sail about three weeks later and they arrived safely in Baltimore. On January 19, 1926, the Hankin family was reunited for the first time in 14 years. <music>